Welcome back. Problem 12-21. So statement is determine the maximum deflection of solid circular shaft. The shaft is made up of steel. Having E is 200 gigapascal and diameter is 100 millimeter. So you can see this is a shaft where there is a point load of 8 kilonewton at the center C. And we have a moment at A is 6 and B is 6 kilonewton. So we have to find the maximum deflection due to this loading we will having uh, maximum deflection will be at this midpoint. So this is theta max. So we will find that uh, the diameter is shaft of shaft if is given. So radius will be 0 0.05 meter and E is also given. So maximum deflection at the uh, uh, in the shaft. So let's start with the solution. So first step is that if we remove this support at A, there will be a reaction force which is RA and there will be a reaction force at point B which is RB. Since the load is symmetrical, so this will be divided into two. So RA is equal to 4 kN and RB will be also 4 kN. But I will solve it for you. So what we will do is that sum of all moment about point A, RB is equal to zero. So I am taking at point A and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about point a the first moment is 8 into perpendicular distance is 1.5 and this is clockwise the second moment is rb into perpendicular distance is now 3 and this is counterclockwise so it will be plus thus there is clockwise rotation moment 6 kN and there is anti-clockwise their sum must be equal to 0 so i will write this 6 that is clockwise so minus 6 plus this 6 minus 8 into 1.5 plus rb into 3 is equal to 0 so from here you will get 3 rb is equal to 12 and we will have rb is equal to 4 kilo newton now you have this RB clear so you can find RA by using this equation so we have RA which is not known so RA minus 8 plus RB which is 4 is equal to 0 so we will get RA is also equal to 4 kilo Newton now we have ra and rb so due to this loading so we will be having a deflection like this clear so this is your maximum slope this is your maximum slope this is theta max okay so what we will do that we will first cut the section at x so if you cut it and draw the free body diagram so this is your point R A which is 4 kN this is total distance X clear and at this point we have a movement of 6 kN into meter this is your point A and let this is your point B so if you cut it you will be having a shear force which is V of X and you will having a reaction movement which is M of X so we will find this M of X by using sum of all moment about point 1 is equal to 0 and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about r1 we have first moment is 4 into perpendicular distance is x that is clockwise minus this 6 kN into meter plus m of x their sum must be equal to 0 so 6 minus 6 minus 4 into x plus m of x is equal to zero so from here you will get m of x is equal to 4x plus 6 and the unit will be kilo newton into meter so this is equation of movement for the beam when we cut it through coordinate x now uh, by using equation of uh, slope and deflection ei into d square v over dx square is equal to m of x so you can put the value e i into d square v over dx square is equal to 4x plus 6 
so if you integrate it you will get e i into d v over d x is equal to 4 x square over 2 which will be equal to 2 x square plus 6 x plus c 1 this is after integration now if you integrate it again i will write now integrate it again if we take this equation one so you will get dv over dx will be equal to 2x cube over 3 plus this will become 6x square over 2 which is 3x square plus c1x plus c2 now we this let this is equation number two you can see that uh, okay this will be if we integrate it it will be e i into v okay so c1 and c2 are unknown constants so we will find them by using boundary conditions so what are the boundary condition i will write it boundary conditions so first boundary condition is at x is equal to 1.5 we have dv over dx is equal to 0 so i will sh let me show you now you can see this is at x is equal to 1.5 here the slope which is tangent to this deflection line is 0 so dv over dx is here 0 so you can put it in the uh, equation 1 put in equation 1 now you can see if you put x is equal to 1.5 in this and this will be 0 so we will I will write it 0 is equal to 2 into 1.5 square plus 6 into 1.5 plus c1 so from here you will get c1 is equal to minus 13.5 the unit will be kilonewton into square meter or if you are confused about the unit leave it so just write the values now we will write another equilibrium uh, boundary condition at x is equal to zero deflection is equal to zero and you have to put it in equation two because equation two is for deflection so at x is equal to 0 this is at x is equal to 0 v is equal to 0 because this is the support so put it in equation number 2 so this term will be 0 so 0 is equal to 2 into 0 cube over 3 plus 3 into 0 square plus c1 into 0 plus c2 so here from here you will get this c2 is equal to 0. Now you have c1 and c2 value so put c1 and c2 in equation number 2 because we are interested to find out the maximum deflection. So this is deflection so make this correction this is v max we are fine this is v max not slow so put it in equation number two so equation number two when you put it so it will become equal to e i into v is equal to two over three x cube plus three x square minus 13.5 x plus c2 is zero so divide ei on both sides so you will get 1 over e into i 2 over 3x cube plus 3x square minus 13.5x so this is equation of deflection now we have to find v max maximum deflection and that will occur at x is equal to 1.5 as i have already shown you here x is equal to 5 we have maximum deflection v max so put x is equal to 5 in this equation so you will get maximum deflection 
is equal to v at x is equal to 1.5 meter so 1 over e i into 2 over 3 1.5 cube plus 3 into 1.5 square minus 13.5 into 1.5 now what about e is given as 200 mega giga pascal so 200 into 10 to the power 9 and i c is given so i is pi by 4 c 4 so c is 0 0.05 power 4 multiply by if uh, you calculate all these so this will give you 1125 kilo newton into cubic meter Again, if you further simplify it, so you will get V maximum is equal to, uh, I will write here, this is minus, because we have this value. So minus, after the calculation, you will get 0 0.01146 meter. Or you can say that V maximum or maximum reflection is 11.5 millimeter and instant of negative sign i will show you that deflection is downward this is downward deflection so this is the answer of our this question and that was all about problem 12-21 i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching